back in our seat one more time with another clip from the ladies. You know what I'm saying? For a lady, but for the ladies. For everybody, if you like stand-up comedy. <laughs> Welcome back to Eddie B TV. I am, of course, Eddie B. Nice to see y'all. And we are back with you again today for another reaction video. And on this uh, Women's Wednesday of stand-up comedy, we're gonna get into someone that I have not gotten into before, and a very funny woman. I've seen her on a, uh, I've seen her on a lot of things. We're gonna get into some Leslie Jones today. All right. Well, um, like I said, man, I've seen her in a lot of things, man. I've seen her in some movies over the years, some uh, TV shows. Um, uh, most recently, I saw her in uh, the the new Coming to America movie. You know. Uh, I've seen her on some uh, Saturday Night Live clips, man. She's just a very funny woman, you know. Intimidating, you know what I mean? You know, appearances can be intimidating. But overall, man, you know, she's just a funny woman. Man, I would love to kick it with this woman just to pick her brain and then just uh, see how she works a little bit. But uh, yeah, man, we're going to get into one from her today. And uh, this one is going to be titled, <laughs> okay, Damn, You Are a Hoe. Okay, well, appealing title already, man. I don't know where this is going to go, but it can go many directions, but we're going to figure it out. Um, like I said, you know what I mean? Like, uh, this is a very funny woman, you know? I haven't seen too much of her stand-up before, but um, overall, you know, uh, I think that, you know, she's very uh, funny and uh, she uh, she has a, a presence that could make you want to zone in and see what she's got to say, you know? And um, even um, I seen her on an episode of uh, one of my favorite shows, The Blacklist, you know? It was a small role, but she was still good in that. Even could take on some serious roles, you know what I mean? Yeah, very versatile. So yeah, we're gonna get into this one, like I said, and uh, it's gonna be Leslie Jones with Damn, You Are A Ho. <laughs> That's so funny. And if you like this reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe to your boy. Keep everything going. All right. So, uh, yeah, man. Uh, trying to keep this whole Women's Wednesday of stand-up comedy thing going, man. You know, I, I know with um, as many times as I've said it, you know, this one-track mind wouldn't have got into uh, some of the ladies, man, if I hadn't made it a day, you know. Uh, I knew you. I just, I just got to do it that way, you know what I mean? Because I know there's good female comics out there. I do have my favorites, like I've always said. But, you know, I had to make it a day. So I knew. I was gonna stick with it. So yeah, man, we're gonna get into this one. Let's do it. Leslie Jones with Damn, You Are a Ho. <laughs> uh, I can't help it. Right here on Eddie B TV. Uh, Women's Wednesday of stand-up comedy. Let's have some fun and get our laugh on, people. All right, all right. We should mess up the hat, man. Whew. All right. Let's get situated with this one. Here we go. <laughs> Give it up for yourself. Woo -woo. Woo -woo. Yeah, ladies. We hang out like we a, a team, ain't we, ladies? We hang out like we a tight posse. <laughs> but we all got our job on the team. Am I correct, ladies? We all got our position in the posse. Like there's the hoe. You know she a hoe. <laughs> she tell you she a hoe. Yeah, I had sex with him. Yeah, I had sex with him. You might not want to go out with him. I had sex. You like, damn. You are a hoe. <laughs> That's your girl. You love her. That's your girl. She can't drink out of none of the glasses at your house. <laughs> oh, you got a plastic cup for her when she come over. Uh, you don't know no. where that bitch been. You don't know where she uh. Y'all know who I'm talking about. The woman that you don't leave your man in the room by themselves. Uh. I'll be damned if you have sex with Charles while I'm making beef stew. Come here, Charles. <laughs> Nigga, yeah. <laughs> she is a hoe. She is a hoe. <laughs> then we got the drunk. Oh, yeah, I know you that. You can't drunk. take her ass nowhere. Oh. I feel you the give, frustration. You give her a drink, she is messing up the whole party. Mm. She be on the middle dance floor. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, um, P right here. <laughs> we all know that lady, huh, fellas? And uh, she don't remember nothing the next day. She don't remember nothing. She don't remember nothing. What's the first thing she say? What I do, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember pissing in the middle of the dance floor? You remember doing that? Uh, you remember security guard dragging you out by one leg? You remember that? Oh, one leg. You know we can't go back there now, right? Mm. You know that guy got our pictures mm. at the front gate now. <laughs> you need help, yo. Help that and lady. she would drink anything. 
You know how you go over somebody's house and they be like, you know, I only got some vodka left. And you be like, I don't really drink vodka. She be like, pour that. <laughs> Finna get toe up. Bulgy eyes and everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then we got the driver. This heifer drive every occasion. Mm. It don't even have to be her car. <laughs> she could be high, she could be drunk, she could be toe up. Oh. All right. This bitch line is, oh, we gonna make it home. <laughs> I like that line. Like we that. gonna make it to the house. We gonna make it to the house. Oh. <laughs> and she could drive anything. She is brilliant. She's brilliant. Oh. She could drive cars, trucks, buses, tractors, scooters, motorcycle. This bitch can drive a camel. <laughs> You open up her wallet, she got licenses. Oh, a camel, huh? Okay. <laughs> then we got the white chick. Y'all know who I'm talking about, the one who don't like nothing. A white chick. Why we come to this club? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's why she real. got that shirt on? That's an ugly shirt. Why? Why I can't tell her? Why she got to get in my car? Why? <laughs> you be in the bathroom like, why we keep going out with her? Why? Why we keep messing with her? I don't know. And the know. drunk be like, cause she the driver. <laughs> Stumbling, man. And I'm broke, yo. I'm broke. You understand what I'm saying? What I'm saying? I'm broke. I'm broke, son. Oh. Oh. I just bust you right in your fucking forehead. I just need <laughs> five dollars, bitch. Give me five dollars. <laughs> I'm broke, broke and people with money showing they ass. <laughs> R. Kelly. Oh. The only thing make me mad about R. Kelly is that none of his songs is reflecting the charges. Really, he yeah. up on rape charges, he's still writing rape songs. <laughs> Girl, you wanna come to my hotel? No, Robert. <laughs> said, no, Robert. No. No. I heard you peeing at the hotel, son. <laughs> Take zero on that one, buddy. <laughs> Dancing around in the video with a mask on. Oh. Should have wore that shit in the other video. That's what. <laughs> Facts, get though. Now, nigga, we know it's you. Facts. Facts. <laughs> oh, that's the end of it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I, I knew. I, I knew that she was funny on stage, man. I, that presence, man. That ain't no joke. <laughs> Got some stuff to say though, man. Fellas, open your ears and pay attention to what she just said, man. Everything, not just a couple things, but everything. All right, y'all, that was uh, Leslie Jones with Damn, You Are a Ho. <laughs> I was, I mean, they made it seem like it was a straight up quote with the, with the headline, so I was waiting on her to say it, and she said it, and mm, it just hit me, you know what I'm saying? It just hit me so beautifully. All right, man, let's go ahead and uh, <laughs> unpack a little bit with that one. Uh, you know, uh, females, man, they're known for that. You know what I mean? Like, I was never really big on clubbing or nothing like that, man. I could probably count on one hand the amount of times I've been to a club. You know what I mean? That just goes to show you how, you know, not interested I am in that whole scene. But the times that I did go, man, I did meet some ladies. You know what I mean? And, of course, they always did act like that. I know probably all female cliques don't act like that. But the ones I've been to always went the same way. You know, I, I was like talking to a chick like, hey, what's going on? You know, you want to dance or something like that? And then we started dancing and all that. And then out of nowhere, it was like she was a spy or a secret agent. She just slide right by and just be like, just checking on you, baby. <laughs> and I would just be like, what the hell was that? You know her? I'm like, oh yeah, that's just my homegirl. She just checking to see if I'm okay. I'm like, we in the middle of the dance flow. What am I going to do? Roof you and carry you past all these dudes? <laughs> Yeah, but don't do that either, man. That's twisted and wrong. But uh, yeah, man, she is right, though. Females do stick together, man, like a wild pack of hyenas, man. If one get out of line, they'd be like, hey, where that girl at? Uh. <laughs> it's too funny. But you know, females do, like, I mean, fellas do that, too. We know who um, is what in our little crew. But at the same time, man, we don't look out for our fellas the same way as females look out for other ladies, you know? Um, because one, we trying to handle ours, we trying to have fun, we trying to hook up at the end of the night or something. I'm like, hey man, you could be on the you could be on the, the shoulder of the highway, about to get hit by 10 million cars. We still won't care what happens to you, <laughs> and that's just real, man. But 
Yeah, man. Um, uh, the type of women she described. The hoe. Yeah, yeah. A lot of dudes is actually scoping out where the hoe is. You know what I mean? Like, hey, yeah, at least I know that girl gonna handle some business. You know what I mean? You know? Yeah, handle some business, man. You know? Nice to meet you. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes it can get pretty crazy too. So be on the lookout for that, fellas. And ladies as well, man. Protect yourselves. But um, uh, the drunk girl. Now, see... I don't know what it is about me, but that is my innate ability, man. When I was, anytime I've ever been single, I always attract the alpha drunk. You know, I don't, I don't understand why. Why are they attracted to me? You know what I mean? Because they probably know that I can handle it. <laughs> I don't get frustrated with, with, with things as much as I just get like, you know, <sighs> all right, let's stretch out. It's going to be a long night. Going to meet some drunks. <laughs> but that's what it'd be like sometimes. But um, the driver though, now me... I can definitely handle the role of being a driver only because, you know, I I don't like getting too drunk, you know what I mean? I've, everyone's been pretty, you know, fucked up drunk before a few times in their life, man, but I don't like to get too drunk because I don't like throwing up, you know what I mean? I sound like, you know, I sound like a demon from the fiery depths of hell when I when I throw up. I mean, I'd be like, I feel like I done coughed out all my organs and stuff, man, it's bad. But yeah, man, be on the lookout uh, for the uh, for the hoes and the drunks. But as far as the drivers go, man, a driver is kind of like um, how do I want to say this? A driver is like um, if uh, if you in a war or something, and uh, there's someone like documenting what's going on, you just don't mess with that person. You know what I mean? When it comes to the driver, don't mess with the driver, man. Driver got a job to do. You know what I mean? And that look in her eyes, priceless. When she's like, yeah, we gonna get home. We gonna get home. Yeah. Fe um, uh, fellas, understand this. The ladies are trying to get home in one piece, man. You know what I mean? They got some stuff to deal with, you know, that's pretty dangerous. Fellas, we got some dangerous stuff to deal with too, but uh, at the same time, man, <coughs> excuse me, the ladies, man, I respect what you guys got to do to handle your business and get home safe every night. Please believe me when I say that. But um, as far as the last thing goes, what was it? Uh, the wide chick. Yeah, the wide chick is... um. Yeah, that's a that's a downer ass chick, man. You know, I don't like her. I don't like her at all. You know what I mean? Like even the one thing she left out, man, that I've had to deal with a couple of times myself too, man. It's just like I'll, I'll walk up to a female and I'll be like, "Hey, how you doing?" And then she'll be like, "Why he gotta be the one to come holler at me? I wanted that one to come holler at me." Like, don't even say that guy to say that one. <laughs> it's so mean, man. It's so mean. I've dealt with so much, okay. But you know what? These battle scars, yes, makes me stronger to this day. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But that's what it is, man, you know. But um, I'm not even going to try to touch too much on the whole R. Kelly thing that she was <laughs> that she was uh, talking about. But, you, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I still don't understand to this day how that man got away with all that and nobody did a damn thing, you know. Yeah, I, I blame all y'all for that one, man. Y'all ain't got no excuse. Y'all should have did something about that. But nope, y'all had to uh, get a paycheck, you know, or... You had to get some, you know, hang out with a famous person. You disregarded all of the signs, man. Ugh. Work on yourself, man. <laughs> but yeah, man, she's a very funny woman, man, and I enjoyed this clip, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap it up like, uh, wrap it up right there. One more time. Leslie Jones with Damn, You Are a Hoe. Yes, I was itching to say that one more time. <laughs> and uh, if you like that reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe to your boy. Keep everything going, like I always say. So, uh, yeah, man, another newbie added to the list here for our Women's Wednesday of stand-up comedy, you know? Um, I I've always liked Leslie Jones, you know what I mean? Because she just has, like, sort of like a, like I said, an intimidating presence to her. But at the same time, man, I bet she's fun as hell to hang out with. And uh, you can already tell just by looking at this clip that she's a hella, a hella funny woman, too. So, uh, in fact... <clears throat> One role that I just got really intimidated by her on, and uh, I find myself running in. Uh, I found myself running into this situation a few times at a younger time in my life. But um, that movie National Security with uh, Martin Lawrence in it, uh, she was in that movie, and she just played like a a big a big rig driver. You know what I mean? Just like don't nobody be touching my rig. <laughs> And I'd be like, okay, okay, please, just, can you put me down? You got me by the neck now, sweetheart, please, don't kill me. But yeah, man, she's a hella funny-ass woman, and I had fun with this one. I had never seen this clip, but you know, I gotta watch more stand-up of her, man, because she's obviously insane on stage, and I rock with that, you know what I'm saying? Please believe me, I rock with that. <laughs> so yeah, this is gonna be Eddie BTV signing off one more again here. Uh, Leslie Jones, man, oh my goodness.
I could watch her a million times, man, because her energy is something that I can mess with, you know? A lot of people be like they intimidated by um, strong black women out there, but nah, man, I'll run into it full steam ahead. Bring it on. What you got, I got just as much, if not more. Believe me. <laughs> it's a fun time whenever you get a chance to hang out with uh, people who are different from yourself, you know what I mean? And I'm just not talking about race. I'm just talking about attitude, personality, the works. So, uh, yeah, man, thank y'all for tuning in uh, to this one with me one more time, man. I had a lot of fun. And uh, keep tuning in to Women's Wednesday of Stand-Up Comedy, man, because I definitely got more coming and uh, definitely got more fun on the way as well. So, yes, love and appreciate y'all. Peace.